Welcome to LeapFrog Geothermal 5.0. In this video, we will give you a quick tour of the latest release features. LeapFrog Geothermal 5.0 represents a huge development investment, securing LeapFrog's ongoing status as our core solution and bringing you powerful flexibility, adaptability, and scalability to meet your emerging data challenges. Built on a new, powerful, fast code base, LeapFrog Geothermal 5.0 contains a host of performance enhancements, including faster overall project processing and faster well loading. Your insights have helped shape LeapFrog and this release responds to many of your requests. The features and functionality mentioned in this video are covered in more detail in the online help. Let's take a look now at the new features in LeapFrog Geothermal 5.0. The first thing you'll notice about Geothermal 5.0 are its significant visual changes. Don't worry, while it does look refreshingly different, the layout, location of functionality, and the way you interact with and model in LeapFrog remains the same. That being said, however, there are several significant usability improvements with LeapFrog Geothermal 5.0 to make your modeling experience even better. LeapFrog Geothermal 5.0 offers substantial improvements to the performance, flexibility, and usability of the well data object. These improvements include faster reloading and processing of well data, up to 40% faster in the larger, more complex projects, the addition of calculated columns, renaming and or deleting imported columns, and including points in the initial well data import window. Calculated columns have arrived on interval well tables and derived points. You can now develop and implement new analysis workflows using the same calculation tools that were introduced last release on the points object directly on all well interval tables and derived points in LeapFrog, opening up countless new workflows. Create numeric and category variables and access metadata including whole ID, from, to, interval length, and interval midpoint XYZ coordinates. Please note, the existing functionality of query filters on well data tables remains the same, with the added advantage that output columns from calculations are now also available to filter. LeapFrog Geothermal 5.0 now grants you the flexibility to delete imported columns that aren't actually needed. While only importing the data columns you're using for modeling will still allow for better performance, you are now able to delete that pesky additional column you accidentally imported that one time. This applies to all imported well tables as well as merge tables and upscaled tables. To ensure you don't inadvertently delete a critical column, a confirm delete dialog box will show you all the downstream objects affected and all downstream filters and calculations that require adjustment will be flagged for your attention. In addition to deleting columns, it is now also possible to rename columns in a variety of imported tables, including location and interval tables, downhole points, downhole structures, lineations, planar structures, and GIS data. Changes made will flow down the project tree. Just like when you delete a column, any downstream filters and calculations that require adjustment will be flagged for your attention. With LeapFrog Geothermal 5.0, importing downhole data is more efficient as downhole points can now be added to the initial import window. Improved handling of imported meshes in LeapFrog Geothermal 5.0 now allows you to utilize more imported meshes, including non-manifold meshes, in your downstream processes. The mesh handling improvements are twofold. First, we have improved our classification and visualization of error types detected in imported meshes. In addition to the existing self-intersections object, two new error types can now be displayed as separate objects in the scene. Border edges, which highlight any holes in a mesh, are shown as closed polylines, and non-manifold edges are shown as polylines. A non-manifold edge is an edge on which more than two triangles meet. Secondly, LeapFrog can now differentiate between usable and unusable non-manifold meshes, and this improvement in classification means we can now accept usable non-manifold meshes in several downstream processes. In combination with the existing Remove Self-Intersection for Volumes option, 
This improved differentiation between the types of non-manifold meshes significantly improves the usability of imported meshes throughout LeapFrog. Many imported meshes will now be able to be used in structural trends, mesh operations for Boolean and clipping, in geological models as boundary constraints, faults, and for surface generation, as RBF surface filters and model boundaries, and in distance functions. We are committed to enhancing your user experience and expanding your modeling possibilities with every new release. In addition to the major enhancements we've seen to the well data object and imported mesh usability, we have also added several new features based directly on your feedback. You asked for depth markers down wells. Last release, we added depth markers onto cross sections, and in this release, depth markers can now be added to the 3D scene. Markers are attached to the well trace object. You have control over the tick spacing, length, and width of ticks, spacing of labels, and which side of the trace to apply the markers. You asked to be able to reorder units in the in scene legend. This is now possible for well data columns, including calculated categories, interval selections, grouped and split lithologies, imported points and structural data tables, including calculated categories and point selections, evaluation tables, as well as geological models, static geological models, and combined models when viewed as a single object. Advanced functionality improvements have also been made to the Vane tool. For more information about these improvements, please contact your local Sequent technical team. As we recognize the importance of seamless software interoperability, we continue to develop and improve integration functionality. You can now use OMF to easily import 2D and 3D geophysical grids and associated color maps from OASIS Montage along with OM Geo surfaces. Those of you using Secret Central will now discover significant enhancements in the ability to work collaboratively across projects. Secret Central 4.0 is your shared workspace, bringing geoscientists together to collaborate and work with project stakeholders in the cloud, fulfilling your request for better flexibility, usability, and data access. To ensure that more centrally stored data is available for sharing, we continue to increase the range and number of objects you can publish to Central. The latest additions include well traces and structural lineations. When connected to Geothermal 5.0, several new data types in addition to meshes can now be shared across projects and branches in Central, allowing you to easily share data that is created and edited in one project with any other project on your server. As of this release, entire geological models, including refined models and combined models, can be imported and reloaded from Central and used downstream without any issues or long processing times. Included in the imported GM are the legend and associated colors, boundary, fault system, geometries for surface chronology, and output volumes. An overlay on the project tree icon will inform you when the imported GM is out of date, providing you with the option to reload from latest on branch or from the project history. Other data types that can now be imported into central projects include planar structural data, point sets, and polylines. LeapFrog Geothermal 5.0 offers you the ability to work more effectively and consistently with data from third-party applications with the new direct import capability from the Sequent Data Room currently accessed through Central. Drilling data, including location, survey, interval tables, and downhole points and screens can now be imported directly into LeapFrog from the Sequent Data Room providing you with the confidence that everyone in the team has access to and is using the latest correct data. When there's new data available to reload, you will be notified by an out-of-date overlay on the table icons. Reload or append one or all tables and choose the revision of the file you want to reload from. Please note, currently you will only be able to import well data from the data room into new projects. For existing projects, you will continue to reload well data from the original source location as you always have. 
Additional new data types that can now be imported from the Sequent data room include planar structural data, point sets, polylines, and OMF files for importing geophysical grids from OASIS Montage and geological surfaces from other software packages. For more information about any of these LeapFrog geothermal features, check out the following resources or contact your local Sequent team. Thanks for watching.